Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Owl Crate unboxing. This is for the month of February. I have only cut the tape, so I'm gonna go ahead, open this box, and show you what's inside. So the first thing that I see here is this card that says Owl Crate with really, really cute um, witchy artwork. So the theme of the box is Magic Unleashed, which I am all for. That's my vibe. Um, I'm not going to read all of it because it literally just says exactly what's in the box. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what's, what's actually inside. Lots of paper shredded stuff to make a mess on my floor for me to pick up afterwards. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I see here is this little container of bath salts. It almost looks like this has little bits of like dried flowers in here. That's kind of what it looks like to me, kind of hard to tell. I would assume that the book of the month is called The Lost Jawarit. Um, so it has the title right here and it says loot or um, Owl Crate exclusive. So I'm gonna keep going and I think that this is probably supposed to go with the actual book for the month. Let's see. So the next thing that came in this really, really cute um, moon and star bag is a hairbrush. That's really cute. Let me take that out and show you the, the design on it. So it's just a plain white plastic hairbrush with, with white tips and it has this really pretty um, purple like lotus flower and uh, it looks kind of like the, the goddess symbol with the, with the moons on top. Um, very cute. Then I see the Owl Crate pin, and it's a really, really pretty kind of sun and moon combination. I'm not sure. Again, this is my, only, my second box. I don't know if each of the pins is tied specifically to the book in some way, or if it can just be a theme in general. Um, but yeah, this is very, very pretty. I like that a lot. And then we have this really cool keychain. It says Poison Kitchen. Sertovica Prague, maybe that's what it says. Um, hopefully my camera focuses on that. It's kind of hard to read that. Oh, and I'm looking on the back and it looks like it was inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have not read Daughter of Smoke and Bone yet, but one day I will. That is really, really cute. Then there's this really cute pouch that says, fight, take risks, follow your heart on both sides with the little cute little Owl Crate logo there. Very nice, very useful. What is this? Owl Crate collectible book tin? <gasps> Ooh, ha! Okay, so this says, from the Library of Red London, Volume 1, inspired by the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. So I just recently read the first book, uh, A Darker Shade of Magic, and I really liked it. Uh, I really like V.E. Schwab's writing a lot. I have the other two books in the series I haven't read yet, but I really enjoyed the first one. So this is really cool. This is actually something that, you know, is relevant to something I've actually read. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is neat. Oh my gosh, look at this, this is so cute. So it's a metal tin shaped like a book and it says Magic and Madness, the Maresh Monarchy is the name of the book. And on the back it says As Travars, which is the sort of spell uh, that um, Kel, the main, one of the main characters in the book, uses to be able to travel to the different Londons. So this is super, super cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Blood was magic made manifest. There it thrived. So this is super, super cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Some super cool and unique um, bookish swag. Oh my gosh, yes. So I have I have had this on my TBR um, and I didn't own it. So this doesn't have anything to do with, well, maybe it does like the pin and everything I was guessing because uh, in the last Owl Crate, the pin I think was directly related to the book that I got. Uh, but this time, I don't know if it is or not, maybe it is. But um, the book this month is The Gilded Ones. The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. I don't have the author name memorized, but when this came out, I thought it looked awesome. I put it on my TBR right away. So this is really exciting. Oh my gosh, this is a book that I've actually heard of compar compared to last time. Outcasts by Blood, Warriors by Choice. So it came shrink wrapped and it came with this really cool art card plus a little letter 
written from the author on the back. So the back says, are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? 16-year-old Decca lives in fear and anticipation of the blood ceremony that will determine whether she becomes a member of her village. Already different from everyone else because of her unnatural intuition, Decca prays for red blood so she can finally feel like she belongs. But on the day of the ceremony, her blood runs gold, the color of impurity, and Decca knows she will face a consequence worse than death. Then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice, stay in the village and submit to her fate, or leave to fight for the emperor and an army of girls just like her. They are called Alaki, near immortals with rare gifts, and they are the ones who can stop the empire's greatest threat. Knowing the dangers that lie ahead yet yearning for acceptance, Decca decides to leave the only life she's ever known, but as she journeys to the capital to train, uh, for the biggest battle of her life, she discovers that the Great Walled City holds many surprises. Nothing and no one are quite what they seem to be, not even Decca herself. In this bold and immersive fantasy, a young heroine fights to save a world that would dare to tame her and discovers that she is her own fiercest weapon. So this is really awesome. A black author writing fantasy with black characters. Um, super exciting and awesome, um, and I cannot wait to read this. And then we have the little magazine for the month which has that same artwork. And again, as I said in the last one, um, it just kind of has a bunch of information about all of the items in the box. Here's a picture of Namina Forna. And then it has a little card for the theme of the next uh, next month for, well, for, for March. I just opened, that was the one for February. And the theme of the March box is Of Witches and Wonder, which is kind of similar to, to this month's, um, and I am not mad about it. Um, I love it. Um, I actually have March, uh, the March box as well, which I'm going to open in a separate video. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's sort of the same, Of Witches and Wonder, and this one was um, Magic Unleashed. Okay, so now that I've stumbled through the whole box not knowing exactly what everything is, um, I just was checking and it looks like um, the zipper pouch with that quote is from the book Legend Born, which I also want to read. So these bath salts say the lost Jawarat. Maybe that's the... I'm not entirely sure what that is because um, the, the sheet says this was inspired by the book We Hunt the Flame. So I'm not sure what, what that's referring to, but yeah. And uh, I actually was right. Uh, so yeah, this pin is inspired by an important symbol in the Gilded Ones. So the pin is tied to the book each month. That was so awesome. I, I love that box. I love the first box too. These are so much fun. These are so much, I don't know, better than I, I expected before I'd first subscribed. Uh, well, my sister technically has gifted me my first three boxes, um, but that tin, is so cool especially because i actually read the book and i really like it and it looks like it's part of a four-part collectible series so i don't know if they're each going to be like included in owl crates or if i'd have to like go and hunt them down and buy them i don't know i would love to have all four um especially because i really like the first book i'm sure that i'll like the second and third i just like v.e schwab as an author in general so this was super super cool loved everything in the box can't wait to read the gilded ones um and you know well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've read that book and if you enjoyed it. Um, I know, I think it's gotten really good reviews. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. I will see you guys next time. Bye.